These people tried to slander you. They tried to make you out to be the crazy one, did all this backbiting towards you, treated you any type of way. But though they slander you, you will be vindicated. You will be vindicated because God will vindicate you no matter what people say or what people do against you. If you keep walking in truthfulness and righteousness, they can't do anything about that. People can only go so far, they can only go so far, and then God is going to elevate you for his purpose. That's what you're called to do, to elevate, not to stay stagnant. Some people tried to paint you as the bad guy. They wanted others to see you as the enemy. They twisted the truth and made you feel small, as if you were nothing. But don't let their words bother you. Remember, everything comes back around. What they send out into the world will come back to them. Their actions and words will reflect on them, not you. When they wish bad things for you, those very wishes can bounce back on them. Sometimes, it's even worse. God sees everything. He knows what's in people's hearts. He knows who you truly are. Let him handle them in his own way. They chose to mistreat you, and they will have to face the consequences of their actions. You didn't hurt anyone. You didn't cause trouble. Instead, you stood strong while others tried to bring you down. You are not less than anyone. In fact, you are a royal person. You are a child of God, and you carry his light within you. This is your true identity. Picture yourself as a shining star in a dark sky. Your light shines brightly, even when others try to dim it. You have a purpose, and that purpose is to spread love and kindness. You are strong, special, and unique. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. Remember, you are a warrior. You face challenges with courage. Keep walking your path with your head held high. You are loved and you have a place in this world that no one can take from you. Your true worth comes from within, and no one can change that. So, stay true to yourself. Focus on the love and light you bring to others. Keep shining, and don't let negativity bring you down. You are a child of the King, and that makes you truly special. People don't understand that you're a child of the King, and they just weren't meant to be in your life. You go through things because God knows you can handle it. You go through things because God knows you're going to do something good on this earth. You're going to do good things. You're not going to do wicked things. You're going to do good things because that's what you're called to do. People might not like you. People might despise you. People are going to slander you. But just know that in the end of it all, it's producing good fruit in you, and you will be vindicated on God's timing, not on man's timing. God doesn't operate like that. He does it on his timing, not on what other people think, but on what he thinks about you. As long as you walk in truth and do what's right, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter what people say or do. It doesn't matter how they feel about you or what they think. The only opinion that truly counts is God's. He knows your heart and sees your true self. You are a beautiful soul. Picture yourself shining like a bright star in the night sky. You bring warmth and light to everyone around you. You are not just ordinary, you are royalty. You are special and unique, created with a purpose. Sometimes, you even shine like an angel spreading goodness wherever you go. Your light is so bright that it can expose darkness. Imagine walking into a dark room and turning on a powerful flashlight. The light chases away the shadows and reveals everything hidden. That's what your light does. When you shine, it shows the things that are not right. This is supposed to happen. Your brightness can help others see what needs to change in their lives. Some people might not like your light. They might feel uneasy or try to dim your shine. 
but don't let that stop you. You have a special role in this world. Your kindness and honesty spread hope to everyone around you. When you stay true to yourself, you inspire others to do the same. So keep shining, no matter what others say. Imagine standing tall, like a shining star in a dark sky. Embrace your royalty and the goodness inside you. Know that you are a force for good. Your light matters, and it makes a difference. Keep being the amazing person you are. Light and darkness don't mix. Think of light as a bright sun, shining high in the sky. It chases away shadows and reveals the truth. Your light shows what's hidden, bringing clarity to the world. It's powerful, just like the sun. Keep being bright and royal. Remember, the devil wants to make you doubt yourself. He tries to convince you that you're not good enough, but that's a lie. Your true self shines brighter than any darkness. Your name stands strong, proving that the devil's lies don't define you. You don't have to do anything to prove your worth. Just be royal. Be divine. Be holy. Live righteously. Let others see you however they want, it won't matter in the end. What matters is that you know who you are and that you keep shining your light for the world to see. The only thing that matters is, are you doing what's right for your life? You get people irritated, the ones that walk wickedly, not walking right. You get them irritated a lot because they're walking wickedly. So let them continue to be wicked. Pray for these people. Pray for them, move forward in your purpose. That's all you can do, pray for people and move forward. Pray that God works on their hearts, just as God worked on your heart. Pray that they see the light like you see the light one day. Pray that they get a relationship with the Holy Spirit like you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. A lot of people don't know the Holy Spirit like you do. They don't know Him, they probably want to know Him, but they just don't. Instead of worrying, take a moment to pray and then move forward. Let God defend you. He will clear your name in front of those who doubt you. He'll show the people who mistreat you and misjudge you the truth about who you are. Let God handle it for His glory. Keep moving upward in your faith. Picture yourself climbing a staircase that spirals higher and higher. Just like Enoch, who walked straight into heaven, you are on a path to greatness. You are going up, up, and up. Each step takes you closer to where you're meant to be. You are destined to be divine. You are meant to be royal and holy. Remember, you are a child of God, and others should see you for who you truly are. When they see you shining, they should recognize your worth and beauty. You carry a light that is special and unique, and it cannot be hidden. As you climb, remember that every challenge is an opportunity to grow stronger. Keep your head high, and don't let negativity hold you back. Embrace your divine purpose. You are meant for greatness, and nothing can stop you from reaching it. Keep shining brightly and let your faith guide you to new heights. They might not like it, but that's who you are. You're called to do things that other people are not called to do because God has an assignment over your life, whether people want to see it or not. You have a divine assignment and a divine calling to change this world for the better. You're changing the world for the better by you being you, by you being a good person, by you being truthful when it comes to matters of the heart. You're being truthful, you're walking in righteousness. But they slandered you, they tried to gossip about you, they tried to backbite you, they tried to belittle you. God said no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You are God's prophet, you're one of his prophets. God said, touch not my prophets, do them no harm. Do his prophets no harm, his true prophets. So you let God handle these people. You keep moving forward in your faith. 
Let God show you off, because he's going to show you off, as long as you keep walking right on the straight and narrow path. He's going to vindicate you every time, so you don't have to worry about anything. Keep being the person that you're called to be, and let the right people that are meant to be in your life be in your life. All the rest of them will fall by the wayside if they're not meant to be in your life. And that's the prophetic message I have for you right now. Until next time, bye-bye.